and then just take a moment to lengthen the spine. So as you breathe in deeply, think about lifting the top of your head up towards the ceiling and rooting down to the pelvis or into the pelvis. And then do that again, take a nice deep breath in, sit a little bit taller, maybe float your shoulders up just to appreciate a little bit of tension there. And then nice big exhale, let your shoulders soften and drop down away from your ears. Keeping that length in your spine, I invite you to close your eyes or lower your gaze. And just let yourself come into the space today. Taking a few moments to observe what's going on in your mind, your body, your heart, what comes up for you today. Appreciating a little bit of stillness and quiet this afternoon. Begin to draw the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth with the lips just a little bit open. Otherwise, keeping your mouth closed, moving more into that slight constriction at the base of the throat, our yogic breath or our ujjayi breath. Creating a little bit more of an audible breath sound at the back of the throat. Let your exhale be as long as you feel comfortable today. Drawing in a sense of peace. Exhaling anything that isn't serving you well today. Drawing in a sense of gratitude. Letting go of worry. Continuing to breathe deeply, allowing your exhale to be as long as you feel comfortable this afternoon. As you continue to breathe deeply, create an intention for your practice today. Something you'd like to focus on or someone you'd like to dedicate your practice to, bring that into your heart center. And then on your next in breath, sweep the arms, one or both arms up, out to the side and up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the hands together at heart center. Good, again, inhale, big sweep with the arms, lengthening upward. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, last time, nice deep breath in, reaching all the way up, lengthening both sides of the trunk, lifting your gaze. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. In your seated posture, whatever feels good for you, allow the spine to round slightly, softening the back body the back of the neck, maybe turning your head slightly from side to side if that feels good or up and down. And then bring both hands over to the right side, pause and breathe. And then walk the hands through the center, move them over to the left side, pause and breathe into the right side of the trunk. Good, coming back to the center with the hands one more time, forward fold, allowing your body and your heart to melt down towards the earth, relaxing the back of the neck. And then on an inhale, walk your hands back up to center. Bring the soles of the feet together for bound angle pose. You can grasp 
at the feet or at the ankles, whatever feels good to you. Think about lengthening once again, lifting the heart in the top of the head up and just allowing your knees to fall out to the side. So you can adjust your, your foot and leg position if you need to, depending on how your body feels today. And then let's bring the right hand over to the left leg, anywhere it falls, and then just extend your left hand back. Fingertips relatively in line with the sacrum, nice easy twist. Turning and gazing over the left shoulder, keeping your spine lengthened as you inhale, exhaling to rotate. And then on your next exhale, releasing back to center, sitting nice and tall, we'll take a twist to the opposite direction. Right hand comes back about in line with your sacrum, turning and gazing to the right. And slowly on your exhale, release back to center. Go ahead and extend your right leg out at about 45 degrees, and then we'll bring the left foot to the inner thigh. And then we'll have the shoulders facing the foot and the toes pulling towards your face. Sitting nice and tall, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll take seated head to knee pose. So just extending your fingertips for your foot, working in the direction of nose to knee, breathing into the back of the thigh. Coming back up to center, take a nice deep breath and reach that left arm up and over in the direction of that straight leg, revolved head to knee pose. Deep breath in, sweep the arm up, exhale, release it down. Go ahead and switch sides with the leg. So we'll extend the left leg out this time toes pulled towards you, shoulders are going to face that straight leg, sit up nice and tall to lengthen, and then as you exhale, lead with your heart folding over that leg, nose in the direction of your knee. Allowing the breath to flow to the back part of the leg. When you're ready, slowly drawing the trunk back up, sitting tall. Sweep the right arm up and over in the direction of that foot. Nice big side stretch, revolved head to knee pose. Gaze can be up or down, whatever feels best on the neck today. Remember, you're listening to your body as we practice. So making any appropriate modifications for how you feel today. Deep breath in, sweep that arm up, and exhale, release it down. Go ahead and make your way over to tabletop when you're ready. And then we'll um, keep the hands underneath the shoulders and maybe walk them just a little bit further back towards the knees. And we'll start to cycle through cat and cow pose. So inhaling, shining the heart forward, tailbone up. Exhale, tuck and round. Pressing into cat, big C shape with the spine. Couple cycles like that. So inhale, heart forward, tail up. Exhale, tuck and round, cat pose. And then if you'd like, inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, tuck and round into cat. And then if you'd like, hover those knees, pressing into the tops of the feet, super cat. Big C shape through the back. Good, let the knees drop down. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, tuck in round. Cat, if you'd like, float the knees. Big C shape with the back. Belly in. Good, drop the knees down. Cow pose, look forward. Exhale, tuck in round. Cat or super cat. Hover the knees, belly in. Good. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, tuck and round, cat or super cat. 
Good, last time here, coordinating movement and breath. Listening to your body, doing what feels good for you today. And then coming back to a neutral spine, we'll move the hands over to the left corner. On an exhale, drop back towards your right heel. Diagonal stretch. Relax the head and neck if that's available to you. Even softening it on the upper arm is good. Breathing into that right side body. Good, coming back up to center, moving your hands over to the right corner. Take a deep breath in, exhale, drop towards the left heel. Relax your head and neck. Good, coming back up to tabletop, walk your hands a little bit more forward, come to plank from the knees, shoulders, just a little bit behind the hands, belly is in, and then lower all the way down to your tummy. Go ahead and bring the arms down at the sides. I'm gonna relax through the back body here for a moment, tuck the toes under, and then on an inhale, I want you to lift your heart, your arms, and your kneecaps up for a locust pose variation. So just start to notice the back body active, heart is forward, opening across the chest and shoulders and breathing. Good, as you exhale, release everything. Turn you either cheek to the mat. Good, this time we're gonna take our arms out to a T if you feel comfortable. So palms are going to be towards the floor, tucking the toes under. As you inhale, you'll float the chest, the arms, and the kneecaps up. And as you float your arms, think about pulling the shoulder blades towards the spine. So you're noticing that activation between the shoulder blades as well as the low back and the back of the hips. Pause and breathe. Exhale, release everything opposite cheek to the mat. Good, one last locust pose variation. If it's available to you, we'll take the arms up overhead. If that doesn't work for you, you can pick either position one or two. So on an inhale, toes tucked under, float the chest, the arms and the kneecaps up. And I want you to keep your gaze looking down towards the mat. So instead of overextending your neck to look forward, keep your head and neck in line with your spine. Good, thumbs are up towards the ceiling. Pause and breathe. And then exhale, release everything. Turn the toes out, stack the hands, come into crocodile pose. Pause and breathe into the low belly. Nice, long, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. When you're ready, make your way back up into tabletop, taking your time. And then we'll move the hands a little bit more forward and press into downward facing dog, lifting the sit bones up and back. And just come into your down dog here. So do what feels good for your body. Paddling out the feet, turning the head from side to side. Always welcome to drop back to child's pose or tabletop if you need a break at any point during the practice today. So start to bring some awareness around the spine. So appreciating length into the spine, noticing the connection there between your spine and your pelvis, and focusing in on your sit bones, lifting them up and back, and then just allowing the legs to follow. So 
Good. On an inhale, float over your hands, come into plank pose, and then we'll walk down to the forearms for forearm plank. And then set your knees down on the mat. Still drawing your belly button in, still maintaining that nice activation in the midsection. Come over to your left forearm for side arm balance. So shoulder stacks over the elbow. You can keep your knees bent or maybe straighten that top leg. Float your top arm up. For an additional challenge, you can float that top leg and press your heels slightly back. So you're not arching through the back, but activating the back of that right hip. Pause and breathe, foot is flexed on the lifted leg. And then exhale, come back, forearm plank from the knees, pause and breathe, belly in, slight tuck the tailbone. And then come over to your right forearm. Just like you did on the first side, maybe extending out that top leg as you reach the left fingertips high, fingertips reach for the ceiling. Foot is flexed on the top leg. Then maybe explore floating the leg and giving it a gentle press back through the heel. Notice the activation in the back of the hip. Pause and breathe. And then slowly come back to forearm plank from the knees. And then drop back to puppy pose, keeping your hips lifted, forehead to the mat. Pausing and breathing. Good, when you feel ready, go ahead and press back to downward facing dog, sending the sit bones up and back. And then looking forward to the hands, we're gonna step the left foot between the hands. And then I want you to walk your hands around to the side of your mat and come into a wide leg forward fold. So you can toe heel your feet out pretty wide on your mat. And then turn the toes slightly inward. And we're gonna pause here. If you have a block, you can certainly use it with one or both hands, but play a little bit with shifting your weight from heels to toes. to a flat back. So coming up to that monkey pose, maybe tenting the fingers, reaching back, pressing the sit bones back and pressing back into your heels. Top of the head is forward, tummy is in. And then as you exhale, forward fold again, maybe walking the hands underneath you or reaching for the ankles might feel good. Micro bend in those knees. your hands back on the mat, turn the left toes to face forward, and then go ahead and step the back foot up to the top of your mat and come into a flat back, halfway lift. Good, High, bring those elbows out to the side and up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Beautiful, nice flat back. And then as you exhale, round and fold over the legs, bending the knees generously. Good, inhale to a flat back again, raise the elbows up, shoulder blades pull together. Exhale, round and fold. Good, press into your feet, take your time, come all the way up to stand. As you come to stand, pedal out those feet. And then take mountain pose at the top of your mat. Bring your feet about fist distance apart, your palms forward. Find a slight tuck to the tailbone and broaden across the collarbones here. So active standing posture, pause and breathe. On an inhale, sweep the arms up, little back bend. As you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, float the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press into your feet, come all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, sweeping up. 
Exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, come up to a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press into your feet, come all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, sun salutation A today. Inhale, sweeping up, little back bend if you like. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your heart. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back first, follow with your left to plank. Breathe in, breathe out, lower halfway chaturanga from the toes or the knees. Release to your tummy, inhale, locust pose variation. So we went through a few different varieties of locust at the beginning of our practice. Try any one of those. And then exhale, hands to the mat, downward facing dog, hips high. Pause and breathe. Looking forward, leading with your right foot, walk or step to the top of your mat. Breathe in to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press all the way up. Look up. Exhale, forward fold, leading with the heart. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step left, then right foot back to plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lower, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, locust pose variation. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Think about really pressing into your hands and feet here. Looking forward, lead with the left foot, step up, breathe into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the feet, come all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, pause here in mountain pose with hands to heart. Blink your eyes closed and just allow yourself to feel the ground beneath your feet. Good, notice how your body feels in standing. Notice the symmetry from right to left. So as we move through our sun salutations today, I want you to be extra mindful of which foot you're leading with if you're stepping back. And if you're choosing to hop back or forward, then just be mindful of that as well. Notice your intention once again. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let the breath out. And then blinking your eyes open. Inhale, big sweep with the arms, little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Be mindful of your lead leg, breathe in. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, locust or any other back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, walk the hands over to the right and come into a wide leg forward fold. Breathe in, monkey pose, flat back. Exhale, wide leg fold and round. Good, from here, turn the heels in, turn the toes out to the side, deep breath in, bend the knees, goddess pose. So tailbone tucks under, chest is lifted, pause and breathe. Beautiful. Inhale, bring the hands to heart center. Extend the arms straight out in front of you, palms up, and then bring the arms all the way out to a T, shoulder blades pull together. So lots of heart opening today. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, belly in, inhale, straighten the arms, palms up, take them all the way out to the side, shoulder blades pull together. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Good. Inhale, straighten up on those knees. Take it out nice and wide to starfish pose. Good. Turn your left toes to face forward. Windmill your hands all the way down to the mat. Step it back to plank. From your toes or your knees, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Couple of cleansing breaths. Looking forward between the hands. This time, step the right foot through. Walk the hands around. Come into that wide leg forward fold. Toes slightly in. Inhale. Come up to a flat back. Monkey pose. Think about shifting that weight back towards your heels, lengthening the back of the legs. Exhale, round and fold. Good, start to turn the toes in, turn the toes out to the side. On an inhale, bend into your knees, raise your trunk up, goddess pose. Pause and breathe, slightly tucking the tailbone under, keeping your heart lifted. And then as an exhale, on an exhale, bring the hands together at heart center. As you inhale, extend your palms out straight ahead of you and out to the side, pull the shoulder blades together. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, extend the arms out, palms up, all the way out to the side, shoulder blades pull together. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, extending the arms out, palms up, shoulder blades pull together. Belly in, exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, straighten those knees, come all the way up, take up a lot of space here, starfish pose. Good, then turn your right toes to face forward, big windmill with the arms, step it back to plank pose. From your toes or your knees, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Breathe into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Sun salutation B. So bring your toes, big, big toes and heels to touch. On an inhale, come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Just like you did in goddess, slight tailbone tuck, sink the hips back, and don't allow your knees to sweep past your toes. Belly is in. Good. Sink a little bit lower if it's available to you today. For an additional challenge, fingertips to the floor, sinking low to just barely touch your mat, and then sweep them back up. So nice low chair. Nice and strong here. Feel the activation in your legs and your midsection. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Elbows can be up if you'd like. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back to plank. Pause. Decide if you'd like to take that vinyasa series or skip it. On an exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend, locust, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ground through the hands and feet. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it forward, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, rise. Good, knee tracks over the ankle on that front leg. Good, exhale, open up, warrior two. Opening that back foot, gazes over the left hand. Good, inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, reach forward as far as you can through that left hand, and then sweep the arm up, triangle pose. Try to contact that imaginary wall through your back body. Pause and breathe. 
Good. Take your right hand to the shin. Inhale the left arm up. Revolved triangle. Gazing to the left. Pause and breathe. Good. Take the arms up back to warrior two. Look over the left hand. Nice big wingspan here. On an exhale, big windmill with the arms. Step it back to plank. From your toes or your knees, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's take a breather in child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. See how much of the mat you can contact here with your body. Cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Notice how you feel, reconnect with that intention that you set for the practice today. When you feel ready, making your way slowly back up to downward facing dog. From here, looking forward, take a step forward with your right leg, pivot your back heel down, come up to warrior one. Hips are square to the front, soft taps the shoulders. Beautiful, heart lifts. As you exhale, open up, warrior two. Looking over that right hand, making it so that back foot is almost parallel to the back edge of the mat. Knee over the ankle on your front leg. Take a look down at that. On an inhale, straighten your front knee. As you exhale, reach through that right hand as far as you can. Triangle pose. Sweep the left arm up, reach through the left fingertips. Do your best to be light on that bottom hand. Try not to collapse onto your leg. Pausing and breathing. One more inhale. As you exhale, left hand comes to the right leg. Right arm floats up to twist. Beautiful. Good. Big inhale, warrior two. Come on up. Look over that right hand. Tail tucks under. Relax the tops of the shoulders. Exhale, hands to the mat, find plank. Breathe in, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, mountain pose. Good, little bit of standing balance today. Let's take our weight to the right foot and come into your variation of tree pose. I want you to do your best to keep your hips level. So, so try not to allow that right hip to pop out to the sides. So you're really keeping a lot of activation around the right hip. Find a focal point, something that you can concentrate on. Pause and breathe. See if you can stand a little bit taller. So think about this time rooting down through your foot, lifting the top of the head up. Good, bring the hands to heart center. Turn the left knee to face forward, raise it up to hip height and flex your foot. Good, pause and breathe. If you'd like an additional challenge here, you're gonna take your hands, reach them for the bottom of both feet or the, the bottom of your left foot and press your foot gently into your hands. Keep breathing, keep that focal point. Good, additional challenge is try straightening that left knee, pressing the foot into the hands. You can keep your gaze forward or shift it down. And then last balance challenge for the day, you can try extending the left arm back as you twist. 
So you can keep your gaze ahead or try turning and gazing towards that back left hand. Pause and breathe. Good. Slowly try to come out of it, kind of reversing the steps, bringing both hands to the bottom of the foot, and then release the foot, stand nice and tall, shift your weight to the left, and circle out the right leg. Nice job, yogis. So those are all options and choices. Don't feel like you have to do any of that. Do what works for you. So stand tall in mountain pose at the top of your mat. Tree pose, second side. So remember you're engaged through that left hip. Wherever you'd like to put that right foot is perfectly fine. Maybe you're in kickstand with the heel to the lower ankle. Maybe your right foot comes to your calf or your inner thigh. Standing a little bit taller, grounding through the left foot, top of the head lifts up. Good. As you inhale, turn the right knee forward, raise it up to hip height, flex your foot, hands come to heart center. Good. You could hold right here. If you'd like, hands are going to come on either side of that right foot. Press the foot gently into the hands. Good. Pause and breathe. If you'd like, extend the right knee. Foot presses into the hand. If you'd like, left hand stays on the foot, right arm reaches back. Additional challenge, turn your gaze to follow that right hand. Relax through the face, and then start to slowly come out of it, bringing both hands to the bottom of the right foot. Slowly release the foot down, shift the weight to the right, and circle out the left leg. Good. Come to mountain pose at the top of your mat, palms forward, belly in, and close your eyes little bit of weight shift from toes to heels here. Taking a moment of gratitude for your body and everything it does for you each and every day. No matter what limitations you have, no matter how you express these different poses or asanas that we do during our practice, gratitude for what you are able to do. Good cleansing breath here, inhaling through the nose, Exhale through the mouth. Good. Inhale, big sweep with the arms, little back bend. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Ride the breath all the way down. Plant your hands and take a seat on your mat. From here, soles of the feet are going to come to the mat. Float your palms up. Engage your belly and take your time. We're going to come all the way down to our backs. So lowering your trunk slowly. Once you're on your back, connect with as much of the floor as you can. So extend your body out nice and long and take a full body stretch. Wall to wall stretch, fingertips to toes. And then from here, we're going to step both legs over to the left. You might even choose to cross at the ankles. And then we're going to take the arms and C-shape our body to the left as well. So a big side stretch along the right side. Couple nice deep breaths in here. Good, stepping the feet and the arms back in. Deep breath in, reach fingertips to toes, get tall and long through your body. And then as you exhale, we'll step the feet to the right, sweep the arms to the right, big C shape, big stretch on the left side body. Take a couple of nice deep breaths in and out here. And then when you feel ready, bring everything back into the center, stepping the knees in, drawing the knees into the chest, 
And then taking about the next minute or so for any additional poses that you would like to do. Maybe a reclining pigeon, spine twist, or an inversion might feel good. But listen to your body here. If you're ready for Shavasana, feel free to make your way there at any point. Focus is on deepening and lengthening the breath as we prepare for our final relaxation. Maybe allowing your eyes to close as you lengthen the breath. When you feel ready, make your way into your final relaxation, Shavasana or corpse pose. Just allowing the shoulder blades to come underneath you. Maybe putting a rolled blanket or towel underneath your knees for a little bit of low back support. Just coming into a place that feels comfortable for you. Allowing the feet and ankles to relax and fall out comfortably to the sides of your mat, opening your heart, taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, big heavy sigh through the mouth, allowing yourself to surrender to your mat today, opening your heart to love, kindness, and gratitude as you move off of your mats this afternoon. Put a pause on the mind chatter and the body motion and just let yourself be here.